Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're going to try Papyrus Oud by Parlement de Parfum. So, this week we analyze this fragrance. Again, first video of the series. You can look at the playlist and you're going to have the whole unboxing of them and today it's not the last but uh, the one before the last fragrance that we're gonna try from the brand at least from that pack and uh, come with a little glass atomizer anyway let's try the smell as i spray it in the air there's a really oriental woody type of smell i wouldn't say that it smells like wood but the kind of fragrance that usually there's wood in it there's actually a lot of papyrus in the air you have some ginger, some basil, some artemisia, some citrus. It's hard to say what I'm picking up. Pretty sure I'm picking up some petit grain there, which is a leaf of an orange tree. Picking up some pepper, some olibanum or frankincense. Picking up some labdanum. That one is uh, is clear. You have something sweet in the background. I would say it's hard to pick up. I think it's sandalwood with a little bit of vanilla. Picking up a little bit of cedar. Picking up some sage. You see, sage seems to be the less rated note. It's not the less rated note, but it's not rated that high at, at all. And um, of course, it's not as powerful as the other note, but I would write it way higher on Fragrantica. Like, sage is more present in the fragrance in the whole life of the fragrance than vanilla, for example. That's about it. On my skin, what I was picking up, in the top note, there was a lot of papyrus, and that was really the heart of the fragrance. There was also a lot of olibanum and a lot of cedar. There was a little bit of vetiver, a little bit of sandalwood, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of labdanum, a little bit of amber, a little bit of basil, a little bit of sage, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of patchouli. There was also a little bit of carnation, and the whole thing give like the feel of Oud, like it's a oud accord and if you look at the no breakdown there's no oud at all and it's really what it is that fragrance is an oud accord this is what it tries to be now in the heart what i was picking up there was a lot of labdanum a lot of olibanum or frankincense a lot of cedar and a lot of orris there was also a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of sandalwood, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of leather, a little bit of amber, a little bit of tonka bean, a little bit of patchouli, and in a base, there was a lot of olibanum and a lot of labdanum. There was also a little bit of vetiver, a little bit of sandalwood, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of leather, a little bit of tonka bean, a little bit of amber, a little bit of sage, and a little bit of patchouli. Projection of the fragrance was not really good. It was really more of a skin scent, maybe like barely having some projection of feet apart from me, max. Longevity though was really good, was over 12 hours. For the complete note breakdown, considering that it's a Parle-moi de Parfum fragrance that have really, really small note breakdown, I was really surprised. Like open when I tried it, analyze it, when I just look at the fragrantical list of notes, so really amazed. So for the top notes, there's papyrus, ginger, basil, lemon, artemisia, lavender, bergamot, and put together. Heart notes are cedar, sandalwood, pink pepper, patchouli, jasmine, geranium, auris, and carnation. And the base notes are albinum, vetiver, vanilla, labdanum, leather, tonka bean, amber, oak musk, musk, and sage. Um, it's been a long time I'm just trying really simple fragrance and it was special to try that such a complex fragrance again. It was nice. The fragrance is really good. I like that they tried to do a wood accord 
instead of going with like some super cheap synthetic stuff, they decided to make their own wood accord. I think that was really nice of them. And I think it did a good result. Now where I would see this fragrance, wood is animalic and woody. So that really gives where it goes this fragrance. For me, it's a great business scent, a bit elegant, a bit masculine and strong. Really would be a great fragrance for this purpose. I don't think it will be a great dating fragrance. Wood is one of those divisive notes that doesn't belong in a dating fragrance. Some people love it, but some people really hate it. For that, I would not put it there. Also, it's not quite sweet. It's, there's like a hint of sweetness in there. There's a lot of resins. Like there's some stuff like vanilla and things like that. that kind of elevate the sweetness a little bit, but it's not a sweet fragrance. But for any means, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be good as a dating fragrance. In the summer winter spectrum, if you want an oud fragrance, though there's no oud in the fragrance, for summer that will be a great one. Smells great, don't project at all, you can spray it as much as you want, it will be great. Since the projection is really, really bad, it will be a horrible fragrance for winter. And as an everyday scent, it's not there, the type of fragrance. If you're a really big fan of oud, for some reason, I think that this fragrance, since there's no real wood, might be a bit more like mass appealing than other wood fragrance. So I think it could work as an everyday scent. Also, it lasts the whole day and it doesn't project like crazy. So people will probably not smell you, especially if you're working like indoor climate control. So you should be good. You should pull it off, be able to pull it off easily. I wouldn't really put it as an everyday fragrance, because it's not that type, but I don't think it's really far from that. So that's about it. I was really surprised by this fragrance. It's really good. Um, I think it's nice that they did like a wood accord in a fragrance. It's really, it revolves around this. There's a note of papyrus that's really strong, but I think it enhanced that little wood feel. But uh, yeah, it's great fragrance. So hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, well, like and share. If you tried this fragrance, tell me what you think about it. Also, if you're a big fan of wood fragrance and there's other wood fragrance that is only in the corner and there's no wood. I know there's a fragrance that is, I think, Jaguar wood, something like that, that, that exists. But if there's any other fragrance with wood accord and no wood in the fragrance, and that's a really great you think you should try them? Write in the comment. So, thanks for watching, and see you soon.